everyone, my name is Natalie Welch and I'm here with ProWrite. We're visiting Georgetown University to ask some students about their experiences here. Let's go. Hi everyone, what's your name? I'm Emma. And what year are you? I'm a freshman right now and I'm studying English in the college. And where are you from? I'm from Denver, Colorado. What's your name? Peyton. And what year are you? I'm a freshman. What do you study here? I study healthcare management and policy and I'm on the pre-med track. And where are you from? Little Rock, Arkansas. So what's your name? Uh, Benjamin. And what year are you? I'm a junior. What do you study? I'm a dual major in philosophy and biological physics. And where are you from? Uh, the great state of Maine. What's your name? Daria. And what's your major? International politics. And what year are you? I'm a junior. And where are you from? I'm from Denver. Uh, I'm Ishan. I'm Alex. And what do you study? Right now I'm undecided. Uh, yeah, I'm undecided in the SFS, but maybe like I pull. Where are you guys from? I'm from New York City. I'm from Dallas. So what's your favorite part about Georgetown? Um, I really love the community, honestly, and I'll, I take Arabic, and having been in that program for three years now has introduced me to all kinds of people going through the same struggles, going through the same ups and downs as me, and I've just made so many friends through just small little things like that, like through my language, through my clubs, everything like that. I would say that my favorite thing about Georgetown has been the community of people who really care about what they're doing. Everyone here is super passionate, whether it's about school or the clubs they're in or anything else. Um, that's what I love about it. Well, I guess, I mean, so far I've really liked my classes. You know, the, the teachers have been pretty good. The material's been interesting. And also the people, I think, have been really nice so far. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely like the location because like, I know for other schools, if you're in a rural area, there's nothing much to do. And if you're in, like, such too urban of an area, it's, like, kind of suffocating. So I think D.C. is, like, a nice balance. There's so much things to do around here, and it's, like, so cool. Um, I really like the people here. Everyone's, like, really nice, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. I think the, that individual communities that you can get involved in with various different, like, extra co-curricular stuff is really awesome. Uh, the departments that I'm studying in are really awesome and then so I really just kind of enjoy how much you can throw yourself into, into stuff. So um, how do you guys like Georgetown so far? Um, I definitely like it, yeah. I've enjoyed myself so far. You know, I mean, it was like, it was one of my first choices in the college process. So. Yeah, it was one of my first choices as well, so like, I liked it too. Um, I really like it so far. Like. In my like schools, which is the NHS, it's like really tight knit, and like there's like a lot of resources, so I really enjoy that. Good, yeah. that's so great. Uh, it's been hectic, but good. Uh, I've studied a lot of really cool stuff with really cool people. Do you have a least favorite part about Georgetown? Oh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I could come come up with a least favorite part. Um, well, I think the the dormitories could be better. Uh, people complain a lot about the food. I think the food's all right. It gets stressful at times. I think it's like a stress culture here, but like, I think if you're able to manage it yourself, like, it's okay. There's a kind of constant pressure to be really, really busy all the time, uh, and that's not always great for like mental health and for other other sorts of things. Um, uh, but I, but I, I do think that, you know, I overall I've enjoyed the, the experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're going to hear this a lot. Um, there's this thing called club culture here, which um, we don't have Greek life, or we do, but it's a very small part, and so our clubs are kind of tiered in the way that Greek life would be. And so it was kind of hard coming in, and if you're not getting into more competitive clubs, then that's, um, you know, always going to make you feel kind of bad, but then you always find your place. Um, you so how is the academic culture? Is it is it competitive? Or? In my like specific school it's not very competitive but like I know like in the MSB I think they grade on a curve so it's like more competitive in that school. It just depends like which college you're in. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um I think it is competitive. I mean you know a lot of the clubs have you know an application process so you know it can, it can be a little difficult on that side but I mean I think uh, overall I think like the clubs I'm in I'm I've enjoyed them so much. Uh, I think it really depends department to department. Um, so I can really only speak to my experience in my, my own sorts of majors. I think the sort of pre-med environment is pretty competitive, um, but like the, the physics, sort of biophysics major in general is pretty, pretty cooperative as is the philosophy major. I mean like the classes themselves uh, for like philosophy and most of the biophysics stuff isn't like curved or anything. So there's no real like incentive to like try to do better than someone else except, you know, like so we kind of just work together. What does it mean to you guys to be on a Catholic Jesuit campus? Yeah, so before I came to campus, I was kind of like, 
I didn't know what to expect of like the Catholic Jesuit environment. And when I came here, I really liked it because like, well, I, I didn't grow up with a religious background, but now like all the inter interfaith dialogue and like it really opened my eyes to like another world, a new perspective. Well, I'm Jewish, so there's no real religious aspect for me there, but um, the Jesuit values have been really interesting to learn about and to implement in my everyday life. I'm always trying to uh, get per Kira Personalis into my everyday studies and stuff like that, so that's been really important to me. What is Kira Personalis? Is that a Georgetown thing? Yes, it's like care of the whole self. I mean, I'm Jewish, right? So like, I think, um, uh, it's really interesting uh, for me um, because a lot of what that means is less about the specific religious practices of Catholicism in general uh, and more about specific values that I think are important and somewhat universal. Um, so, you know, like the concept of uh, um, uh, care of personality, so I care of the whole person, uh, the concept of being like people for, for others, um, uh, all kind of create, like those are the values that we care about. Uh, and so I think that's what kind of comes through rather than like any individual like aspects of religiosity. Of course, if you want to pursue those aspects of religiosity, you're like free to do so, and I think that's important as well. Um, so like at first I thought it was going to be really like religious, but they're like, honestly, I think it's like probably more open to like other like religious backgrounds than other things. Like I just went to an RT service um, like a couple of weeks ago, which is like a Hindu service, and like I've never been to that, and that was really cool for me. And so like they just do a bunch of like interfaith events here, which is like really nice, and I think that's like awesome. What's the whole self mean? Um, to me, it basically means like expanding myself in as many ways as possible. Pretty much, it's like um, it's like growing in my studies and also growing in my extracurriculars and my social life and just um, becoming bigger and better no matter what. Um, so it's like um, like always helping out others and not just like your education is not just like for you but it's for like to help out like everyone I guess. Is there room for interdisciplinary study at Georgetown? Um, yeah like I guess you can like study like anything that you like want but like it's just I don't know however you want to like yeah put it around your schedule. Oh, there's definitely a ton of room for interdisciplinary study. Um, I mean, like I, like I, I, I have a, I have a very weird and, and disparate set of set of uh, uh, interests, and I'm able to pursue all of them, which is nice. Are there good student support systems on campus, like mental health services and community events, things like that? Yeah, absolutely. So our main mental health service is um, CAPS, uh, which is like a psychologist on campus, and then. There are other resources on campus as well. I know I'm really close with my RA personally, and like I would go to her for any advice. So that's that's good. my support system. Good, good. I haven't gone to any of the mental health services. It's called CAPS here. Um, I haven't heard the best things to be honest, but they're always being publicized. We know that they're out there. We know they exist. Um, in terms of student engagement, there's always a lot of stuff going on. So we have the Healy Family Student Center, and there's always something being put on there, like free ice cream, or there's, we, um, I'm on the SFS Academic Council, and we do study breaks. Um, so during finals time, we're going to have like little stations out for snacks and you know making sure people aren't so stressed out. So How do you feel about the live-in requirement, the live-on campus requirement? It's kind of a burden, but also it's, you know, hard being in Georgetown because houses are expensive as it is, and I was really put off by it, and there's a lot of people that try to get excuses for it and want to move off campus their junior year, their senior year, and it's definitely doable, but um, sometimes you can feel a little bit trapped, but it is easier to access everything. So like, I'm still in a dorm since I'm a junior. Um, I'm gonna be living off campus senior year, and I'm really excited about that. But it's really easy for me to get from the library to my dorm, to order food, to anything, so. And how is the social scene here? Like, what are the parties like? Like, what do you guys do on the weekends? Uh, the social scene is pretty fun. I have had, you know, some weekends where I go to parties with my friends or some weekends where we just stay in and like play card games in our common room. Like it's pretty balanced, um, uh, which I really like. A lot of stuff is off campus, so like you have to go to like clubs off campus, but then like at the beginning of the year there's like more stuff on campus, yeah. Yeah, it depends a lot on like what you do, right? So I, I do theater, I do acapella, taekwondo, uh, there's a retreat program I was always a part of Escape. Uh, and so that kind of forms your social circles and that kind of informs what, what, what you do. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think, I think you know, vis-a-vis -vis partying, drinking, all that, whatever, it, it's going to depend on on the people you hang out with. Yeah, like with the whole club thing, so different clubs will sometimes throw like their own events or you have friends that will throw their own events. Um, me and my friends like to go out a lot um, in DC, so we go downtown or we go to Adams Morgan area and that's always a lot of fun. And I don't know, it's, it's very active. There's a lot of different groups. The ones that are going like out clubbing are a different crowd than like ones that are just, like, you know, going to more local like in on campus parties, but you know, you can always do both and mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a good time. Is there any Greek life here? Um, yeah, I'm actually in a sorority, so it's really small. There's only two sororities and like three fraternities, and but it's like not like serious like in the south or anything. But um, yeah, it's fun. What did you write your essay on? My essay was about uh, fighting sexism in my high school um, by going against a pretty sexist athletic director for my girls lacrosse program. Oh yeah, I remember. I wrote about, I think one was about volunteering, another one was about like, uh, it's like the SFS question, so I talked about like US-China relations. Um, so I'm interested in rural health, and so like I wrote about like why I was interested in it and like how I thought like my major would help me like, I don't know, do stuff like <laughs> in the real world. Good. Now it, it was on um, my ability to like see things from different perspectives and put myself in other people's shoes um, was was my was my kind of shtick. Um, I don't remember a ton of details about it. It was like three years ago at this point, but that was that was the that was the theme. I wrote it on my well. So I lived in Dubai for a year, and I used that experience to. It was like my first introduction to like actual like problems pretty much and um, a foreign community because I'd grown up in Denver my whole life and in a small suburb and I kind of launched that as my first experience to growing connections with people from other ethnicities and other places and how I wanted to like improve upon that and I don't know it was it was very SFS oriented so that's the school foreign service so so if you could go back and do it all again, would you still go to Georgetown, you think? Yes, absolutely, 100%. I know this is where I'm meant to be. Um, yeah, I think so. So <laughs> far, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? yeah. Awesome. Yes, I would. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, fun fact, um, I transferred. Okay. So I chose, after going to my first school, to come here, and it was definitely the best choice. Well, that's what people think about Georgetown University. Thanks for joining us with ProWrite.